Hi, welcome everyone. We're gonna do wood ornament slices today. I'm gonna give about four minutes um, and I'll be setting up while everyone's joining. And this will be recorded and um, we'll have a link available to watch it if you need to go back and rewatch anything um, after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera around and get everything set up, but welcome. All right, Ooh, my hair is a little bit wild today. That's okay. Um, all right, so before we get started, I'm gonna kind of go over some supplies you'll need. And um, we do, we are starting a new thing for some of the, sorry, we're starting a new, um, to my way, um, kit at Chestnut Creek School of the Arts that you can purchase with all the items you need for some of these projects. Um, this kit will include items for this project in our next week's project. Since this is recorded, um, you know, you don't have to necessarily have the kit beforehand. So we are going to um, do four little ornaments. I think in the kit you actually have five of these wood rounds, so you can kind of have fun on your own with one. Um, you'll need, in the, in the kit you'll have all the paint colors you need. It's a set. Um, 
and then some for our project next week. You'll get two size paintbrushes. They're my favorite kinds, which actually I don't even think this is the right brand. Got the wrong. It's my kid's brush. Um, I got, you should get two of these, I believe. I don't even know. This is maybe a little bit on the bigger side of what you get. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Um, and you get, I think I said five wood rounds. All the accessories um, that we'll use today, cotton balls. You'll get, even get a hot glue gun. You don't get a hot glue gun, so you'll need to have that. Or just regular glue is fine, too. Um, you'll get a palette um, and a canvas for next week, 8 by 10 So it's really kind of a good deal um, to just not have to worry about what you all need and to collect all the items beforehand. Of course, you're welcome to collect your own, own stuff, too. So we're going to get started. I'm going to flip you all around, and we're going to have fun today. All right. So I'm going to use, uh, this is acrylic paint. So I'm going to do the backgrounds first. I'm going to use white. You don't need a whole bunch. You can always add more later. Um, once you kind of pour it out, there's no way to really get it back in these little containers. Um, it might last a day if you cover it with saran wrap. Um, but I'm going to use this phthalo blue. And so I have those two. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to paint our backgrounds of these two first. Just so that way this can be drying while we move on. So we'll kind of, we won't complete a full one because there's going to have to be a little bit of drying time between these. You can see my samples are a little bit smaller than my um, ones I'm doing today. And that's okay. So I'm going to start with the white and I'm going to paint the white background first. And then any leftover white we have, I'll be able to add to the blue or if I need to get more white. And I probably should have used the bigger paintbrush. Oh, one thing else, one, another thing you'll need is water, a water cup. So I just have like a little wee um, yogurt jar. Plastic is fine too. So I'm going to use a little more. I'm going to use a bigger paintbrush just to go a little bit bigger. You're, if you only have a small brush, that's fine too. And I'm going to get all of that painted. And I'm trying not to get my hole covered up there because we are going to want to... Um, Fill that in. So I'm just trying to go to where the bark starts to meet that tree. So this is really thick acrylic paint, so it'll cover good. Um, of course, if you want to make it last a little bit longer, you can add a little water. This is water soluble. Um, acrylic is. It's not an oil paint. The great thing about this is it dries fairly quick. So there's some good coverage. I'm just trying to kind of make sure I don't have any globs anywhere. And that's going to be the background of my snowman. And now I'm going to do the background of the little penguin. So I've, I'm going to need more white. As you can see, I kind of used up a lot of that white, um, which is fine. So the reason I'm using acrylic on these instead of watercolor is because, and I'm just gonna start off with a little, I'm gonna mix it up in my palette. And then, so I got a little bit, but I think I'm gonna, might even need more white. We'll start with that. Um, sorry, I was, you can use watercolor on this. It's just not gonna have the rich colors. It'll absorb into the wood a lot, and you just won't have the same, um, thickness and clarity in your painting. So that's why I chose to do acrylic and it's kind of seals the wood too, which is nice. When it dries, acrylic is very much like plastic. So that's a pretty blue. It's a little brighter. You can go as dark or as light as you want, but I filled it up. Um, you can always, on this one, I think I actually left a little bit of the round showing, but I can like going all the way to the edge on that. Um, so now I have those two backgrounds ready. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off 
and the way you want you want to make sure it's really rinsed off well and i just realized i probably should have painted my santa beard white too while i had the white um i forgot that that was good. you don't even have to paint that santa beard actually you can always just leave the wood showing but i kind of wanted to make sure i had a knew where to put the glue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get red and the red I'm using is the Brilliant Red. Um, there's a burnt sienna in the pack that um, I think will probably be a little too brown for Santa. So now, and I could have used my small paintbrush. Can you guys see that? I'm going to turn my paintbrush so it's sideways. So I'm kind of using this edge right here. And I'm going to make a nice, I got a little bit too much on there. About, I'm gonna kind of divide this up into three parts. And the little section where the skin will be, which will be the wood showing through, it's gonna be the, the smallest. So I'm going to go ahead and do the hat. Just load your paintbrush up and Spread it out. I'm just trying to do nice smooth strokes. So that way, kind of using the edge of the paintbrush. If you're using the smaller green round paintbrush, oh, that one's still wet. Oh, that one's, I'll show you on the, the beard. So I don't have to wash my paintbrush too many times here. Um, A round paintbrush will work well too. Just go over until it's nice and smooth like the other two. All right. So you don't need to kind of straighten your line up or anything. You can always put a piece of painter's tape there just so you don't even have to worry about drawing a straight line. Um, so I'm going to wash my paintbrush off. That is one thing you don't want to leave your colors on your paint um, for too long or else it will ruin your paintbrush. So watercolor, you can kind of not worry about that until it's all said and done. But with acrylic, you don't want to let it dry at all on there. So now for the beard, I'm gonna kind of just guess. And I mean, you can make his face bigger or smaller. I'm gonna go across here. And then just like I did with the top, fill all that in just right up to the wood slice there. We're going to be covering this with cotton balls, so I'm not, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but I just want to have it pop. Okay. So again, we'll let that, actually, while we have our red and white here, I'm going to just, you just, I'm going to make the color of the cheeks you can kind of see in here. I actually had pink that I use with that, which I don't right now, but we're going to make pink. So I'm going to mix white and red until I get a nice light pink color. And then I'm going to do some rosy cheeks and they can be as big or as little as you want. I think I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger this time. I did a little small. So you got to have little rosy cheeks for Santa. I did not mix up enough pink. Whoops. I'm gonna just smear that. So I'm mixing myself up some more pink. I'm definitely using the round brush for this. This flat brush would not be a good choice for painting a round thing. And right, right now I'm having a little bit of trouble because my paint's really thick and I didn't really mix up a good enough pile. So I just dipped a little bit of water just to kind of add some fluidity get a little bit more smoother around the edges. All right, so now I can wash that paintbrush off. So my Santa is well on his way. Um, so I'm gonna set these out of the way because I'm worried I'm gonna just stick my hand in them. Um, next is going to be our little Rudolph. So we're going to break a little root off here into a few different um, 
faces. So I'm gonna use my burnt sienna, which is gonna be a brown color. Um, if we can get it out, just make a little puddle. And I'm gonna have some white and yellow um, okra, and I'm just adding white to my little puddle I had before. When I say puddle, it's more of like a well. I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have some okra on here. And if you got the kit, you actually have a lot more spaces on your palette to work with. So I'm gonna start with this, and mine looks a little dry. I kinda just pulled something from our supply room that had already been used. And once it's opened, if you if it's not screwed on very well or it's been a few years, it might not. So I want to do a circle for the top part of his head. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing his head first. I'm just going to do a nice big circle. And fill it in. And since this is a little bit bigger of an ornament, I am gonna actually paint a bigger circle. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. You can always start smaller, go big. And then, and it's kind of an, it's not like a perfect circle. It's almost like a rounded square. That's okay. And then I'm gonna add little ears by adding triangles to the top there either side and his antlers are going to be pipe cleaner so we don't have to worry about that yet and now I'm going to mix some brown and white together to make the little yellow snout kind of stand out and I'm going to get a little bit of broker and I'm hoping this will right make the right color yeah the reason why I'm adding a little okra to this is because I think adding the white almost um, makes it turn gray. I'm gonna need some each of those. So we're just trying to get it so it gets, stands out. And so I'm gonna draw, it's almost like a rounded rectangle for his little snout. And um, I couldn't find enough chenille um, little poof balls there for his Renault, so I included a button that we'll be using. So we'll add that later, but I think that'll be just as cute. I love buttons anyway. It'll be cute as a button. And I'm gonna add little um, inner, inner parts of the ear. And if you wanna add legs, you can add little legs. You can either have them kind of coming out of the top part of the head, which I did out of the snout. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to make it go kind of like a wobbly reindeer. You don't even have to do this part. Um, a friend was with me when we were doing the samples and she's like, I think you need some little funky legs coming out. Oh, I might do back legs and then front legs. We'll see how it works. And you can decide if you don't want to do this. <laughs> and I'm gonna use some, so I'm using the light brown and then I'm gonna streak some dark brown in there just so it kind of falls and fades into the back. I mean, kind of has a little bit of a, again, my paint is a little on the chunky side. It might just be the, that color too. Sometimes colors are just a little darker around the edges just to give it some definition. Just kind of touching anything up. <laughs> kind of looks so right now it's in a weird, funky state, and that's okay, because we're gonna be adding details later. Don't worry, I thought the same thing um, when I was doing doing my sample, so um, don't panic. All right, so now we'll set that aside to dry, and I'm gonna get back my penguin. Um, one because we're gonna have to kind of do some more layers of that so I'm gonna do a little snow bank on the bottom and it can be as big or as little as you want I just, I'm just painting like a little curvy hill it can be as curvy as you want you can always adjust it as you go 
I'm just going to paint and you'll see once you've painted one layer of paint on here, it's a lot smoother to paint the other layers. So there we go. Got that all nice and painted. Um, while I have my white, I'm going to actually add some little snow dots on here. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I am going to do snow dots on this one. I, I included these pearls as um, potential snow snow dots too. If you want, would rather kind of use those, I'm going to show you how to paint them too. Just a little bit of snow dots here and there. Or they can be bigger if you wanted. I don't know, something. A little piece of the bark got on mine. So I'm just kind of touching little snow dots just to give a little winter atmosphere for my little reindeer Rudolph. Just get a lot of paint and kind of tap down. It makes a nice little circle. I was trying to draw a circle and that it's not looking well. Just will. Okay. So now I'm going to wash my paintbrush off, my little one, and I'm going to get some black, black on my paintbrush. And um, I grabbed a set that did not have black, which if you bought a set from us, it'll be new packaging. So you will have black. <laughs> so I'm just using some regular craft acrylic. Um, and for my penguin, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw this one a little bigger because like before our ornament's a little bigger. I want him to be the focus. So I'm kind of doing like an um, egg shape, a little oval, oval. Well, it's not even, he's not even, he's almost just like a circle oval. <laughs> uh, very round oval. I'm just, just kind of filling in. Ooh, got a little shaky there. Um, as I go, nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add little wings um, about halfway across. Just kind of going out. It's almost just like a little line that's a little bit thicker where it connects to the body. And same thing coming out here. Nice and smooth. And then we will let that dry, let the black dry before we add the black little belly. Oh, I just tried to wash my paintbrush off, but we can still use black for the snowman. All right. So, it's, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm painting everything and then we're going to add the accessories. Um, and that's just because you kind of want your paint to dry before you glue anything. So for the eyes, I am going to kind of find the middle of, almost a little above the middle of the ornament. I'm gonna give him some eyes and you can kind of leave the white showing or you can add the white later. So I'm adding like a little highlight in his eye. I'm just leaving it glistening, but you can always add it later. If you forget to see, or your paintbrush doesn't cooperate, and so I'm just using the very tip of my paintbrush, not pushing down very hard. You can always use a smaller paintbrush for this. So you can kind of see I missed the highlight on the other one, so I can always just add that with the white. When I'm all done, maybe with a little smaller paintbrush, you could even use a toothpick. That nice. Might as well just fill it in at this point. All right. And then the mouth will be a few dots. So I'm going to start with the middle one. And again, this can have a highlight or not. My paintbrush is a little bit giving me a hard time. It's kind of separating. So I might have to, I'm just going to fill these in and add the white dot later. So they you know that I really love these paintbrushes, but I think I must not have dried it off very good. It's separating or 
I stored it wrong. If you store your paintbrushes brush side down, you get some unhappy brushes. So what I did was I just wiped it off with my paper towel to kind of reshape it. All right. So that is many little coal mouths on here as you want. The felt piece that I gave you guys for the hat will cut and to make the right shape. You can add a little flower detail to it or jingle bell. Um, I think that's good. All right, a lot of black paint up there. Um, you can sp always spread it out or even go up further if you want them to be a bigger smile, but I'm, I'm okay with this. Um, now I have okra yellow and a little bit of red in here. So I'm gonna mix for his nose, mix some of those two together since I already have them. You can always, if you want like a really orange nose, you can always do, um, I might just even use my cardboard here because I'm running out of space on my palette. Um, the lemon, this medium yellow and your brilliant red to make a, a brighter orange. This is good enough for me. I kind of wanted more of a natural. So I'm drawing a line out to the right and that's gonna, I'm gonna curve it. And it's gonna be, come to a point you know, it's okay if it's crooked. Carrots kind of have some character and they can, homegrown carrots especially will have a crooked shape to them. So there's my little carrot nose and I can kind of keep an eye out for my orange for my penguin nose later. It doesn't mean you don't need a lot. I'm gonna rinse that off. And I am gonna grab a smaller paintbrush. Um, maybe this one's a little bit worn out too. My son must have gotten a hold of this. Um, and I am going to use black and just kind of add a little outline. And it's almost like a sketchy outline. It's not like super dark and solid. You could even do this with a Sharpie after it dries. And I'm just gonna add little notches in the nose to kind of give it a fun feel. Okay. All right, so that can be set aside to dry. And I'm thinking if I need, oh, the penguin needs to be painted a white belly. Um, it's, it's dry enough. Um, when you're using acrylic, when you're painting on layers, you don't want to get water accidentally on your, um, what you've already painted. So I am making sure my paintbrush is really dry. And then I am going to paint a nice little, circle that's just within that black one. You'll know if it's not dry enough, if it starts turning gray, because it'll pull up the black. But mine was dry enough, yay. Like that, little guy. So, um, I'll probably let him dry a little bit. I'm gonna set my paint aside because now we're moving on to accessories. Um, I have had my hot glue gun plugged in. Um, so I am going to add eyes. Now, You, I included in the, the kits lots of different size eyes. So you can kind of choose which ones you, did, you wanna do. And I think I'm gonna go with the big ones. I think these little Rudolphs are cute with like large eyes. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and put it right up next to that nose. Kind of pull any extra off that might be stringing along. And I'm going to do another one. You can just see I have a good amount on there. I don't want too, too much. Push it down. You do want to make sure it's dry. If it's wet, it's not going to stick. Um, and if you've got a little button, mine has a little staple in it, so I'm gonna try to take that off. I don't, I wouldn't have to, but hmm, I might not be able to get it off. Whoop. I need some tweezers and I don't have any on me right now. So, oh, here we go. Pop 
pliers or something. I wonder if I could stick scissors up in there. Ooh, this guy doesn't want to come out. All right, almost got it. Just need to unwrap that and it's not wanting to cooperate. Okay, did we get it? Had some smaller scissors that work. All right, so I'm just gonna figure out where I want to put my my little nose. It kind of makes him look like a little piggy, doesn't it? Um, when we get the antlers on there, he'll definitely look more like Rudolph. And I'm gonna put I want it to squeeze out through the button the buttonholes, so I'm kind of putting it on either side there. And there we go. He's coming along. All right, and to make the antlers, you should have two pipe cleaners. I just folded one in half and snipped it for you guys, but we're gonna have to do a little more work on this. Um, I'm going to fold a V and I'm gonna kind of turn both of them out and they don't have to be even. And then this one, I'm gonna snip in half and twist around to make some fun little antler shapes and same on this side twist it around you can bend it however you want to look make it look like a reindeer okay and then that will go right there <laughs> and this is the cute like glue, hot glue needs to be pushed down and I'm just going to do a little tip on the end. And I don't want to, I should have probably put my, I don't want to cover up my um, ornament hole there. I probably could have done the ornament um, hanger on there first, which is what these are. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of those. The ornament hangers um, are just leather, hemp, and you can fold it in half. And we're going to do what we call a lark knot um, to weave it through. So I'm just going to do a little double knot here. Not even a double knot, but I'm just going to wrap it around itself, around the tree, through the hole, pull it. And I'm going to put the loop part through the back of your ornament. So I'm going to fold it. Should kind of shove right through there. Come on. Um, the hole's got to be, sorry, I can't, I'm trying to hold it in front of the camera. So just got to wiggle it. Sometimes if you have like the back of a paintbrush to kind of push it through a little bit, or again, a toothpick, something a little, this one's kind of getting caught up on something. So let me see if I can use a pencil maybe to, oh, of course I find it. The only non-sharp pencil I have in my... <laughs> I'm trying something here. All right, here we're just gonna use. I don't would not normally do that, but come on, one. It shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. There it is. This must have just been a. Oh, oh no, my my googly eye just broke. And so then you'll. So once you get it kind of through, and this might have been on the short side. Ooh, might need to make a longer string. I didn't realize that. Um, you can put the knotted in is what I recommend. So the knotted in this up. And then there you've got your little hanger ready to go. And this fell out, which I have never seen happen before. So that's not a very googly google there. And my that must not have been dry. We're just falling all sorts apart here. All right, let me re glue my nose on here. I let it cool down too much. There we go, little piggy reindeer. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and I got a little jingle bell that I thought about putting on somewhere here. I'm gonna have to do this Google eye down. He's just gonna have to be not not so googly. Or I could always get a new one. There he is. All right, one Google eye. Um, so the jingle bells, you know, you could. I meant to put that probably somewhere. That's oh, that might be too much. You might use that on something else, Santa or something. So there's one ornament down. Very good. I, you can always write like um, the year on these. I think that's always cute um, with a Sharpie pen or 
Um, something like that. I'll do that just so you guys can see. I've got a little Sharpie pen here. I'm just going to write 20, 20 on here for fun. So that's one. Um, I'm going to do our little Santa next. Let's hope we have better luck with these little tiny Google. So again, I can test out. I might save these little ones for the penguin, actually. Yeah, I want to save those for the penguin. Those will be some bigger Santa eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched South Park, but he kind of looks like Cartman off of South Park. Um, all right, let's hope these don't. I wonder if the hot glue melted the seal on my last ones. All right, so we got the Googles on there. And now we're going to do some cotton balls. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pull apart the cotton ball. Um, and I really I put two cotton balls in the kits, but you really could do um, just one. You really don't need a lot. And just kind of figure out how much beard you want here. And I'm just going to put some random hot glue, um, <laughs> probably Elmer's school glue, glue the, would be a better choice just because it won't dry so thick. Um, but there's that. And then I'm going to, oh, I need to pay him a little mouth. I'm going to pay him a little mouth real quick. Forgot about that. Little mouth. Right there <laughs> he's a surprise Santa for sure um and then I'm gonna make a little um cotton ball for the oh I know what I needed I gotta look at my sample here I need a little cotton for the top here maybe with these bigger ornaments you do you can make that as fluffy as you want <laughs> And then I'm going to make a little mustache. And the way I did the mustache is I pulled a little piece and I just twisted it. So it had a little more shape. It wasn't just out, out there. Um, and it can be as wild as you want. And I'm going to put a little dot right above the nose. I'm not going to glue it all the way down because I kind of like that it can be shaped later on, you know, and you can curl it or whatever. <laughs> This one's looking funny. I like his his eyes are really googly. Um, all right, and then I need to make a little. What I might do with this, since the last one was so short, is I might just stick it through and tie a knot rather than being a lark knot. A lark knot's a good choice sometimes, but um, I think I'm gonna put the little jingle bell on there, just so it has a little jingle. Oh, I like that. And that might be his. Oh, wait. So again, I'm going to wrap them around my finger, tuck them through the hole. If they would stay together, sometimes you got to make the loop bigger. Alrighty. Sometimes I think as an art teacher, there needs to be a whole week long of tying knots. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know if I want to put cotton on it. You can put a little cotton ball up there if you want, or you can leave it as is. I kind of like my jingle. I think that's like the top of his hat. So I'm going to leave him like that. All right. And then if you got any weird stray hot glue, but you got your Santa and your Rudolph now. Um, so I'm going to go back to my penguin and I'm going to do a little, Oh, I'm going to do Google eyes. So I'm going to do a little carrot nose or beak. I shouldn't say carrot. So with my orange and I got a tiny, tiny paintbrush, I'm just going to do like a little upside down triangle. And then I'm going to rinse that off so it doesn't drive. Then I'm going to try to, let's try and see if we can get these little tiny googly eyes on here. Now I will say this would probably be smarter just to go ahead and do Elmer school glue, but I have a, this is a cool tool. So the hot glue does not get as hot as your regular hot glue guns. So I can actually touch the tip of this without killing my fingers. I do not recommend that at all. Oops, look, he's got cross eyes. Ooh, hey. <laughs> hey, he's so cute. 
Um, oh, I just, oh, my white wasn't dry. No, 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 no. All right, I need to paint my white. I'm going to let him dry a little longer. Oops. I got to let him dry. Then we'll do the, the Google eyes. <laughs> Actually, now they're kind of stuck together. That might work better. Um, so something like that happens. You just got to, that means it's not dry enough. You're always going to blow dryer out later. All right. Sand, uh, snowman, snowman. We're going to make a little hat. So in your kit, you should have black felt, you know, or thicker black fabric would work. Um, and I just kind of put a chunk in there and then you can kind of figure out how big you want your hat to be. So I'm going to make mine. I'm trying to think here because I want to have I have it a little shorter so I can have a nice brim on it. So, oops, sorry. We got a new puppy on Monday. I hear her making some sounds. I just want to make sure she's doing all right. All right. I need to make this hat. I think I need to make mine a little smaller. So I'm going to just, this is a, trial by error here. All right, he's just gonna have a little, little top hat. I'm gonna do the opposite way of the nose to kind of balance him out, or her. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue a strip of that on there. So make the hat, and then I put a little flower of some sort in your packets. Um, you know, you could do a button. Put it on the west side, actually. If you wanted. Hey, so you have a little hat. <laughs> it's coming up cute. You could always use like a little ribbon. Um, and that felt I'm just going to discard or do something else with it. Um, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah. I want to add a little white to these eyes. Ooh, my. I'm just striking out here with my paints. And add, this just gives it a little shape, a little kind of backwards C. This is like almost too tiny. Let me get my other one out. I didn't even know I had one that small. All right, there we go. Doot, doot, doot. Cute little snowman. All right. So now he's done paint, getting painted. And I'm going to go ahead and string the hanger through. Yeah, I'm definitely doing this instead. That lark knot. If you have long hangers, that lark knot is a great way to do things because you can kind of adjust it. But this is not long enough. So I am just going to do a regular tie. And I think this will work great too. All right, and so now I can put my hat without worrying about not being able to get the hanger through. So again, I'm just gonna put glue on the back side of this. I use quite a bit. My hot glue is not going through. He's just gonna have a little tipped hat here to the side. And I like in, pull all those strings off so when you're done you got a cute little snowman very cute Ooh, he might need some cheeks too maybe not all right so what do i have left here i have the penguin is our last one. Oh wait i know i think i included ribbon with the snowman so i was gonna do like a little bow and so i'm gonna do a bow by Wrapping, however you make bows, like a little basic tie a knot. And I thought that would be cute as a underneath. I didn't, I didn't have that on the original one, but I want to add it on this one. So there you go. That's cute. All right. Maybe I should have painted my mouth a little higher. Um, penguin. So while I'm still kind of waiting for those eyes to dry, I'm going to use these little beads. And they are sticky. I would 
probably use a Q-tip and get some glue on them. But I'm gonna make these little snowflakes. And that, you can paint them if you'd rather, but I wanted some 3D on these. Something to kinda not just be painted, because I like the collage mixed media aspect of this, I guess more mixed media. Get some tiny ones. Tweezers would be helpful here. Um, or nails. I don't have any nails. Um, but it's not, it's not too hard to do this, actually. I'm just putting them everywhere and anywhere. Different sizes. Um, again, you could do this on, if you have extras, like this is quite a bit. Um, you can do them on the Rudolph, too. And you can even... Might have been cute as glitter. I um, glitter's quite the mess. So I'm trying to get one. There we go. One over here. As many as you want. As snowy as you want it to be. All right. So then I've got to get my Google eyes, which when I tried the first time to stick them together, now they're stuck in that shape. This doesn't work. I'm just painting them on there. There he is. <laughs> kind of looks like he's got some goggles. <laughs> oh, and then he needs a little um, string. So I'll do that. And then you'll have your four ornaments. Now, if you got the kit, I have an extra wood one in there that you're welcome to kind of make whatever with. Um, so here's the ones I showed you how to make today, and they're so cute. I think the Santa is my favorite. Which one's your favorite? You guys will have to let me know. Um, and you can kind of make whatever, give it to your kid to paint while you're doing the, <laughs> the other ones or, or whatever. But you just got a blank one that you can kind of create with whatever. I started to do, um, I just painted it red and then was gonna do like a buffalo plaid on there. And then maybe write um, like a J for Jackson or Merry Christmas and hand lettering. I don't know, you can, I just um, haven't done it yet. But that was what I was gonna do with my little fifth ornament. Um, so nothing too fancy, but you can paint a tree or anything else. So. That is all for today. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for joining. Bye.